Last Wednesday, Tulsi Gabbard took to Twitter to claim that Joe Biden had instituted an open borders policy. And I wish that I were making this up, but she actually tweeted this as if it were a statement of fact. She wrote, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, the humanitarian and national security crisis on the southern border is the direct result of your open border policy. Wow. As I said in my 2020 presidential campaign, we can't have a secure nation if we don't secure our borders. I'm going to come. Do not come. So she's basically just a straight Republican now. Okay. Now, to say that Joe Biden's administration has instituted open borders, it's not just factually incorrect. It's also genuinely moronic. Like, it's a stupid statement to say because it's just not happening. Biden's administration has already deported hundreds of thousands of migrants using Title 42, which uses the pandemic as a legal justification to expel migrants, which is illegal because that directly violates U.S. asylum laws. He's using a Trump-era rule... And you're saying that he supports open borders. Okay, well, did Trump support open borders too? Or are you just saying what the Republican Party wants to hear you say? I have to suspect that it's the latter because she went on Fox News and she then took things a step further. She actually defended the U.S. Border Patrol agents that were chasing Haitian migrants around on horses and possibly whipping them. They're going to dispute whether or not they were actually getting whipped. But regardless, Tulsi Gabbard is going to be very outraged that anyone would dare demonize these Border Patrol agents. So uh, take a look. Former Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi, I'm just really disgusted with what the president said about those border agents on horseback. Everybody with a brain knows that there was no whipping of migrants going on. So what do you think's happening? Why is he saying that it did and threatening to punish the agents? Uh, Jesse, the, the issue here, and, and I consider Joe Biden a friend, but he's absolutely wrong. And he needs to apologize to the American people for saying what he said. And, and here's why. You know, he's somebody who's been very outspoken as being against autocrats, autocracies, dictators, but what he essentially did was act as judge, jury, and executioner for these Customs and Border Patrol agents on horseback. How can they expect to have any kind of fair outcome to an investigation when the president of the United States has already declared their guilt and that they will be punished? And the bigger issue here that this points to, which is one that, that we all need to be concerned about, is that if we are no longer a country of laws, if we are no longer a country where we know we will, we will be presumed innocent uh, unless proven guilty, then we don't have a democracy. And that's the increasing feeling that a lot of us have is that we are losing our democracy and moving closer and closer to what essentially is an autocracy. This is the same type of hoax that they use on police officers sometimes where they take something out of context or they just hear something from one perspective and they convict the person. And it creates a lot of animosity in this country. We saw this kind of hoax again with Russia when the Clinton campaign plants fake news about Trump and Russia. That lasted years. That was a hoax. This type of disinformation is so dangerous to the country. I, I feel like they got away with it so many times. That's part of their playbook, and they're going to keep doing it over and over again. Until when? When are they ever going to stop? The, the saddest part about this, Jesse, is you're right. They, they are getting away with it, and it's the powerful elite working with the media, working with the deep state, not acting in the best interest of the country. They're acting in their own selfish interest to preserve their power, their position or money or whatever their selfish drive is. They are unwilling to sacrifice their interests for the interests of the country. And they have no business being in positions of leadership at any level in our society, because who suffers as a result of this? It's the American people. It's our democracy. Mm -hmm. and, and they don't care about the cost and the toll that that takes. And this is why leadership that puts service above self, that puts the interests of the American people in our country first, is so critical and essential, especially now. So just take a moment and let everything, like that, that entire image sink in. 
she was denouncing Joe Biden, her friend, and telling him that he needs to apologize for condemning the Border Patrol agents. And as she was talking about how mean the Biden administration was to the Border Patrol agents, you see the images of them trying to herd human beings, chasing them down with horses. I mean, it's it's an endorsement of abuse of migrants. That's that's what that was. It wasn't an explicit endorsement, but it was an implicit endorsement. Tulsi Gabbard endorsed that. She's talking about open border policy instituted by Joe Biden. She's talking about the need to secure our borders. She's functionally just a Republican at this point. Now, when it comes to the claim as to whether or not the Border Patrol agents were whipping Haitian migrants, according to PolitiFact, a freelance journalist who was there says that nobody saw anyone get whipped, but he says, rather, what we did see was a Border Patrol agent swinging the rein in like a circle. It looked pretty threatening. Nobody saw him strike the migrant with that thing, the reins. And a local news agency corroborates this saying, an El Paso Times report said a border agent swung his whip menacingly, charging his horse toward the men in the river. So the Fox News host was adamant that that claim was wrong. It was disinformation. And according to PolitiFact and independent fact checkers, it does seem as if nobody sustained an injury from getting whipped. So, I mean, I guess congratulations, right? Congratulations. Nobody technically got whipped, but the Border Patrol agents were pretending to have whips at a minimum and just intimidating Haitian migrants. Running around on horses swinging something around that many people, reasonable people, would perceive to be a whip. So, I guess, congratulations on the victory. They weren't technically whipping people, just pretending to have whips, possibly, to intimidate them further. And even if that's the case, even if nobody was whipped, take the whips out of the equation, take the reins out of the equation. Take a look at this photograph, Tulsi. Do you honestly think this is humane. You have a Border Patrol agent on horseback grabbing this man, risking trampling him with a horse when he clearly doesn't pose a threat. He has food in his hand and he's trying to give people this food who are literally starving. And the people who are starving, they want to make their case for asylum. But the Biden administration, who you accuse of having open borders, is denying them that asylum claim. So when normal people see that image of abuse from Border Patrol of Haitian migrants, they think, man, that's really dehumanizing, that's disgusting. But somebody who's a racist, like Tulsi Gabbard, thinks, man, that's really disgusting that people are saying that that's bad. They're saying bad things about the Border Patrol agent. Imagine seeing that image, seeing an image of a U.S. Border Patrol agent swinging something around that looks like a whip, intimidating black migrants. Imagine seeing that image and thinking, I feel really bad for Border Patrol, not the Haitian migrant. That's Tulsi Gabbard. That's what she chooses to care about. The uh, Border Patrol agent getting uh, criticized rather than the treatment of the Haitian migrants who flee their country due to violence, due to devastation that resulted from an earthquake. That's what she cares about. What a disgusting, racist human being. But she takes it a step further. She says, if we are no longer a country of laws, if we are no longer a country where we know we will be presumed innocent unless proven guilty, then we don't have a democracy. Except you're being purposefully hyperbolic because these Border Patrol agents, they're being criticized. They're not being put on trial. Uh, I don't even know if they're being reprimanded. I would doubt it. So how is this authoritarian? Are we not allowed to criticize them? Because if we weren't allowed to criticize these Border Patrol agents who are abusing these Haitian migrants, I would argue that that's actually authoritarian because we have First Amendment rights in this country. We can see these Border Patrol agents abusing Haitian migrants. There's no confirmation that they were in fact whipped, but they wanted them to think that they had whips at a minimum. And they're still grabbing them, they're assaulting them, they're abusing them. What we're seeing here was abuse. So if you're saying that it's authoritarian to criticize them, then you're just a stupid person. You're just not a serious person. And Tulsi Gabbard is not a serious person. She's a clown who's saying what she believes she needs to say to appease Fox News' right-wing audience because I'm assuming she wants her own show on Fox News. I don't know. Uh, on top of that, she says that, uh, and that's the increasing feeling that a lot of us have, that we're losing our democracy and moving closer and closer to what is essentially autocracy. We're losing our democracy because people are outraged at human rights abuses. 
from our government, from Border Patrol agents. We're losing our democracy because people criticize the abuse of migrants. There's a lot of reasons to think that we are indeed losing our democracy, but to see people criticize Border Patrol agents, that's not one of them. And she argues that, uh, you know, it, it, this is the powerful elite working with the deep state. Okay, sure, Joe Biden criticized uh, these Haitian migrants, but he's not stopping the deportations. It's still going on. And this isn't the deep state trying to fabricate outrage. We see the photographs of abuse, and in response, we're outraged. At least normal people who have hearts are outraged. And ironically, that Fox News host condemned this sort of disinformation, which is hilarious because he has no problem with his network's disinformation when it comes to vaccines. That disinformation, which is literally leading to people from his own party dying at higher rates, he doesn't care. So, yeah, I mean, Tulsi Gabbard, she sees those tragic images of desperate Haitians getting intimidated by U.S. Border Patrol, and her thought is, man, this is the deep state who's trying to turn people against these Border Patrol agents. She doesn't have any concern whatsoever for the migrants being abused. You know, the, the images of black people getting whipped or intimidated by whips doesn't necessarily conjure up any sort of emotional response from her. She just thinks, man, the, these Border Patrol agents, I feel so bad for them. This is authoritarianism to criticize them. Tulsi is a fucking clown. You're a clown, Tulsi Gabbard. And you're lucky that Republicans are so stupid and they don't care about what you say so long as you tell them what they want to hear. But what you're saying is bullshit. I don't know if you believe what you're saying. I don't know if you're lying to appease right-wingers. But either way, you're a fucking clown. You're a grifter. And you should feel bad about that. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 